Hey everyone, welcome to the Rustic Nerd Dad, and today we're going to be doing another unboxing video of a cowl from, here it is in the box, from Dark Knight FX. So I've been following um, Dark Knight FX for quite a few years. Um, he's done fantastic uh, Red Hood helmets and uh, particularly as well as a uh, Batman cowl that has a very Arkham Origins feel to it. Um, and that's actually what I'm going to be unboxing today. Um, I am veering off a little bit from, you know, what I've been doing more so, which is Star Wars content. Um, but, you know, I, I've, I've always had a spot for Batman in, in my heart of, of nerddom. So I uh, figured I'd pick that up. It was a fantastic deal. So about a week ago, um, Dark Knight FX did a, uh, a sale on B-grade and Tusk Cowls that he was doing out of... Uh, a new mold and a previous mold that he had done that wasn't quite working out the way he wanted. Um, cowls were coming out with minor imperfections here and there, um, not to his liking. So he was either uh, trimming pieces off to make it more symmetrical, or he was giving them more battle damage paint jobs and then selling them at a discount. Um, which as a maker, um, or a past maker, I definitely uh, understand. You, you put a lot of time and money and materials into a lot of these projects and uh, sometimes it's nice to get a little bit of funds back um, as well as help out other cosplayers and collectors at the same time um, and that way you're not just throwing everything in the trash and everything's going to waste so um, again I've been following his work for years and uh, it was just kind of nice to be like hey you know what um, I was kind of stepping away from Batman stuff, but it was such a good deal and uh, I, I just couldn't pass up on it. So here we go. So again, if you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to check out my other um, review videos. Um, you know, I can smell the urethane. Um, you know, you can, I've got all kinds of like, you know, cosplay and unboxing videos. Um, I've got a couple tutorials up there and uh, there's going to be lots more to come. So if you like what you see, be sure to like, follow, and, su follow, and subscribe. And uh, if there's anything in the background that you see that you have questions on or something that you'd like to know about, or if you have more questions about what I'm opening and reviewing, um, be sure to let me know in the comments and I will get to it as soon as I can. So starting off, here's the business card. Pretty neat. Dark Knight FX custom cosplay props, hel uh, helmets, face mask, dominoes, and more. This website at the bottom there. I will also put the link in the description of this video. And another business card. I'm very familiar with the urethane smell. Um, like I said, as soon as I got near the box, I could smell it. Um, but almost all um, urethane cowls when you come in, they'll all have that smell. So it appears to be packaged very, very well. Now, I opted to go with one of the non-battle damaged ones. It's one of the ones he tried to make more symmetrical. Okay, so it's packaged very, very well. This is the cowl here. I can't remember what it was listed as. Um, I want to say 30 shore urethane rubber feels like it. Um, definitely not 40. I'd be very surprised. I shouldn't say definitely, but I'd be very surprised if it was 40 shore urethane. Um, but yeah, look at the detailing on the cowl there. So he, I can't remember what he uses to design his, his models these days, but um, he does really, really good work. Um, I can actually feeling around inside here. So inside the cowl, 
that kind of it looks kind of rough but what that is is that's foam so basically the ears these ear tips have been filled with foam that way they keep their shape which is awesome um, I don't think enough makers do that but uh, yeah the, the you can tell that there's really good quality um, just you know initially looking at it um, I think the trimming around the mouth could have been cleaner. Um, not that it's awful. That's the thing. That's the thing. I'm not saying it's awful, but I think it definitely could have been cleaner. Um, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera. Seeing it in person, it's pretty messy. But again, I only paid a hundred bucks for this. So I mean, for the fact that. Of, you know honestly the shape that it's in overall for a B grade um, and I'll show you what uh, what he did in a minute here that made it <laughs> B grade but um, you know that's that's nothing that's honestly when it comes to cowls that's nothing to have to clean up so for a hundred bucks right from the maker can't complain um, I'm just you know reviewing and pointing out the stuff I'm seeing um, you can definitely tell where there's imperfections in the mold. So like right there, um, I saw another one earlier. Yeah, there is like a little spot on the cheek, right? Right there. Um, but again, nothing that really takes away from the overall quality like this, this right in here, um, like right where it's got all those hex patterns, that's pretty clean. Um, you can definitely see where print lines transferred into the mold. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, um, but basically in the hex line areas you can kind of kind of see the print lines. Um, but I mean that's a, spots like that is very very hard to get out. Um, whether it's printed on a uh, FDM printer or um, a resin printer, if there's print lines showing they are in little details about like that, it's kind of difficult to get out, um, you know. But uh, overall, you know, again, for $100, this is really, really good. But um, here we are. So on the ear tips, you can see that they were trimmed off. So he must have had like bubbles or something, or it just didn't quite, uh, yeah, because I can see a little bit of a bubble right there, um, or, or more of an imperfection at the ear tips, um, and he had just kind of trimmed or dremeled, kind of looks like it might have been dremeled, to make them more symmetrical, which honestly... It, it doesn't even remotely take away from it. Like, I kind of like that it's more... It kind of gives me the injustice feel to it. Um, but overall, um, you know, there's a bit of a tacky spot on the one ear. But again, for a B-grade cowl of this caliber, um, I definitely can't complain. So, I'm, I'm definitely going to give it a pretty big thumbs up but now here's the thing I have a small head I have a really small head and I'm pretty sure this was advertised as like a 22 and a half inch head fit so in theory this should fit me almost perfectly almost so I'm gonna take my hat off I'm sure I got a bit of hat head here and we're gonna give this a try all right so here we go the cowl is on my head. Um, for me, I mean, I do have a small face, so it's it's not I'm not filling it out completely. Um, but again, I like I said earlier, I have a smaller head. Um, usually, when I get a cowl, it's usually a 23 inch cowl, and I have to put or 23 and a half inch cowl, and I have to put some kind of padding. Now, what's really neat about um, this cowl so not to get away from the fit or anything but as you can see you can just see my eyeballs and you can barely barely see my eyelids so 
What I really love about this design, the Arkham Origins design, is that you actually don't need you don't need the black eye makeup. I mean, it definitely helps darken like where you can see your eyelids. It does take it. But when I had a Gauntlet FX Arkham Origins cowl, that's one thing I absolutely loved about it. And that's one of the things that transferred in in uh, Dark Knight FX um, is design is that Arkham Origins, you know, you don't really need um, the black makeup. So Again, I have a small face, I have a small head overall, so yeah, there's going to be a little bit of room for me, um, you know, but it's not, like, I just have to adjust the cowl a little bit, and then there it looks a little bit more snug. Um, I think once I trim or clean up the edging a little bit, it'll be more noticeable, but that's where, you know, kind of making more adjustments for me in particular will make it work better. Um, but yeah, it, it sits very, very well, you know, um, covers my nose, lets me breathe, like it doesn't have, like it doesn't have an under nose coverage, um, like it comes to the tip, and you don't see my nose really underneath. I'd say I'm very, very happy with this. It looks really good. The aggression is very, very nice. Um, I'm definitely going to enjoy this. Um, usually, honestly, when I get Batman stuff, I tend to flip it. Um, but this one I will most likely keep, especially with me working on two uh, custom bat designs. Um, I don't know if they'll be done this year. Um, but I'm going to be doing a couple custom, uh, hybrid designs for my outfits, and, uh, this is just for at least one of them. So, big shout out to Dark Knight FX for, you know, such an awesome deal on a B-grade cowl, so if you're in the market for something like that, he is still working out his, his, uh, mold, so you might be able to snag up another deal, um, if you keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on his, his Instagram as well. And I do believe he has a TikTok, so when I do my little TikTok video is with, with this as well, um, I will be making sure to tag him. But yeah, overall, very, very happy with it, and I definitely recommend. So be sure to reach out to uh, Jerry and uh, enjoy. So I'm going to take this off. Boom. Comes off fairly easy. Um, a bit of a struggle bus getting it on, mainly because, uh, it is fresh urethane in there. There's nothing to stop it from, like, basically grabbing onto everything from your hair to your face. Um, so what some people can do while I'm doing in this video is you can put, uh, like, talcum powder, baby powder inside. Um, that'll help, um, not grab, but then you run into the issue of, uh, you know, that baby powder getting all over, getting on the cowl, so that's extra stuff you have to wipe off. That's, it is my go-to preference, but I literally do like a light brushing, like I'll take like a makeup brush and brush it on in the inside. Um, another thing you can do is you can get like a uh, balaclava, like one of those sports lycra balaclavas, um, or like, like the head skins, um, and basically you put that on, and that actually works really well. Um, sometimes you'll do minor adjusting because it'll move as you're pulling the cowl on, especially when it's this snug. Um, but, uh, but that also takes away from it grabbing onto your hair and grabbing onto your face and feeling like it's trying to rip your face off. So, um, yeah. Hopefully this video is helpful to people. Again, this is from Dark Knight FX. Fantastic quality. I am very, very happy with this. Um, again, especially with it being B-grade. Um, highly recommend. Um, I look forward to seeing more of his finished work, but uh, definitely check him out. And uh, thanks again for watching. Hopefully catch you guys again soon.